And in today's video, uh, I thought I would do an E3 discussion uh, since E3 has been happening over the weekend, and I thought I'd just do a video on it. I actually did do a video on, um, I think it was E3, um, E3 2016, I think it was, or 2015, it was one of them. Uh, but I made a discussion video on that. Unfortunately, I did fully delete that video. I wish I privated it because it would definitely be back up on my channel uh, if it was private. But I did fully delete it for some reason. But I remember back then I was talking about uh, Battlefield 1, um, Infinite Warfare. Oh, it must be 2016 then. But it was definitely Battlefield 1, Infinite Warfare and Detroit Become Human before I knew what it was. And there was like some of the like, games, whichever game came out around that time. Um, so yeah, obviously it's 2021 now. Five years since 2016, I don't know how. It, it doesn't feel like five years ago. I still feel 13 years old, as weird as that sounds. Like, I don't feel like I've changed at all in five years. Um, apart from, like, some minor things. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a discussion because there actually is a few games that have really interested me, uh, this year. Uh, I just want to say as well, I am recording this on the 14th of June, which is on a Monday. There is like one or two days left of E3, but not going to lie, I'm not really interested in any of the stuff except for the, I think there's Halo multiplayer at 4 o'clock UK time today. Um, but anything else I'm not really interested in, I'm not really interested in Nintendo stuff. Um, I know Take 2 looked interesting, but apparently it's going to be nothing, so... Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it. If anything is interesting though, I would update this um, commentary. And I will um, talk about those stuff. But I really doubt I'll be doing that. Um, I don't know what gameplay you're watching, by the way. Uh, just some random shit, probably. I don't know. I just wanted to put something there. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's talk about E3. Uh, so the first game that's actually... Um, actually, no, let's not go on about games. Let's go on about um, events. So the first event was... Um, I think it was Ubisoft. Um, when was it? Saturday? Um, yeah, Ubisoft. It was a Ubisoft pre-show and Ubisoft forward one. Um, not gonna lie, it was kind of really boring this year. Um, I didn't really like anything Ubisoft did. I thought their show was... Um, I don't think they showed off a lot. Like, Far Cry 6 looks really good. Uh, the graphics look like they're from the Xbox 360 though. Um, weirdly. But I don't mind that. I don't care about graphics. I, if anything, I really like that graphic style. Uh, and plus I'm really biased to the 360 generation of consoles anyway, so... <laughs> um, but I don't really mind that. It looks like a fun game though. I still need to play Far Cry 3 and 4. Uh, I'm not really bothered about 5, but I know Far Cry 3 and 4 are the really um, big ones and the most popular ones. Uh, so I really want to try those first and um, I really want to see if I enjoy those and then I'll probably get Far Cry 6. So I don't want to waste money on a game that I've never played the series of and um, not end up liking it. So um, yeah, I want to wait until I play those games first and then I'll move on to Far Cry 6. Um, what else did they show at Ubisoft? They showed some Valhalla DLC I'm not really bothered about. That game, I've got the game but I really can't bother to finish it, it's just too long. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I'm just not in the mood at the moment to finish a long game. Um, so I'll probably finish it in the future but right now... Um, it's not going to get finished. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else at Ubisoft. Um, uh, there was like some rabid stuff. I don't know. I, again, I don't play Nintendo, so, um, I'm not, I'm just not interested. Um, that's about it for Ubisoft for me. I, I really thought that was a, not a very good show, to be honest. Um, I always thought I thought it was going to be a good show because Ubisoft usually do one of the biggest shows, but apparently this year I was completely wrong, um, and they did an awful show. And um, I don't know, I just didn't like it. I thought it was like if I had to rank it, I would probably give it like a like a four out of ten. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, let's move on to which was the next one. It was Gearbox. I won't be speaking long about this, but the Borderlands film. Looks okay, and the Borderlands DLC. I liked Borderlands 2. Borderlands 3, never really liked. Uh, and Borderlands 1, I never really played. Um, so I guess I'll just try that out with, if I'm ever bored or if I get back into Borderlands. But I won't be getting it straight away, or probably anytime soon. And the movie looks okay. I don't. The cast on the film now is a bit dodgy, in my opinion. Especially Kevin Hart. Like, I, I like Kevin Hart as an actor, but I don't think he fits in that, in that film. But. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see how that is. Um, okay, so the next event, I think it was... Uh, let me just make sure. It was... Uh, the one I'm interested in. So it was... I don't know what... 
uh, the Blade Point one. I wasn't interested in that one. Okay, so the Xbox and Bethesda one. Um, that was really good. I feel like that's the best show so far. Um, I really liked what they announced. Halo looks sick. I've been a, a big fan of Halo for like for a while. Actually, the first ever game I played was Halo 2. I don't know how old I was. I was really young though. But my dad, even though my dad doesn't play games, he somehow had an original Xbox with Halo 2. And I remember playing the tutorial mission and getting stuck on that and never getting past the first mission. Um, so yeah, um, I'm a really big fan of Halo. I can't wait for Halo Infinite. And the multiplayer is free to play as well, which, to be honest, I'm glad. Because there's a lot of games I want to pre-order this year. Uh, and I don't think I'll have the money for it. But since that's free, um, I can just, you know, I can I can play multiplayer for, you know, free of charge, obviously, because it's free. Uh, but it, it, I don't have to pay for the campaign base, so that's what I'm trying to say. And I've not really been a big fan of Halo campaigns, not going to lie. Like, they're enjoyable and they're fun, but I do prefer a COD campaign over a Halo campaign. I feel like Halo's campaign missions drag on for too long. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Uh, what else did show up Microsoft? Uh, Battlefield 2042 gameplay. Um, that was sick. I can't wait for that game. I feel like that's going to be my uh, favourite game of the year. Um, but I've already pre-ordered it actually, I pre-ordered it on Amazon. The only thing I hate about that game is that since I've got the Xbox Series X, it's going to cost me £70 to buy the game. Uh, and it's £60 on the Xbox One and PS4. And uh, I think it's like £45 on PC, which is ridiculous. That means I have to pay £25 more than what a PC player has to play to play the game, just because I've got a next-gen console. Which, I don't know, the pricing is honestly, it's shit. They should change the pricing. It's £110 for the Ultimate Edition. There's no way I'm paying for that. I'm paying £70 for Standard Edition alone. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing I hate about the game so far. But the gameplay looks really good. I really like how you can change attachments mid-match. And the maps look really fun as well. Uh, and I can't wait for the beta. Again, I pre-ordered it on Amazon. So I'm not sure if I'll get early beta access, which I hope I do. Uh, but it doesn't mention it on Amazon. But um, yeah, I can't wait to play the better. Uh, the better? <laughs> I can't wait to play the better either way. Uh, I really can't wait for that, which I think is in August. So um, yeah, and then there's a few more things Xbox shown. Oh yeah, Forza Horizon 5. Um, I really like Forza Horizon. I actually made a video on it a few weeks ago if you want to watch that. Um, it's I, I've always liked Forza Horizon. I bought the first one a few months after it came out, and I really ended up liking it. But I never bought the second one though, I think it's because it came out when I was really into COD at the time. And that's the only game I really played, so I basically blanked every other game out of my mind. Um, but I really liked um, the first one. second one I haven't played. The third one was, I really liked it, it was probably the worst one I've played so far, but it was still really good. And the fourth one I absolutely love, I like that game, I like how it's set in Scotland. It looks a lot like where I live, even though I don't live in Scotland. I live in England, but like the actual area, like the countryside, looks very similar. And the graphics are very nice as well. And the enhancement on Series X is really good. Um, but the graphics on Forza Horizon 5 look honestly one of the best games I've seen so far for next gen at least. Uh, and I can't wait to play that whenever it comes out. November 9th I think actually. Um, so yeah, I really can't wait to play that. Uh, I'll definitely be, um, I will, probably won't be pre-ordering it, but I definitely will play it through Game Pass. I'll probably end up buying Game Pass for like a month when it comes out and probably no life in it. Uh, but anyway, there was a f one more at Xbox. There was, um, let me think, um, oh yeah, the uh, Starfield. It looks decent. I'm not really into Bethesda games. I liked Skyrim and that was about it. I'm not really a big Fallout fan. Um, I played Oblivion years ago, but I never really did much on it. But it looks like an interesting game, that's all I'll say. Um, any more games at Xbox? I like the Game Pass announcement, you can basically play every Bethesda game on Game Pass right now. Um, and that's about it really, uh, I think that's all. I'm not really interested in anything else that they uh, mentioned. But I know I'm forgetting something, I know I'm going to watch this video and I'm going to hate myself because I forgot it. Um, oh, what is it? I can't think of it, I'm just going to move on. Um, but what was the next event? I'll if if I remember it, I'll bring it up. But the next event was uh, Square Enix. I didn't watch that because I'm not really into Square Enix games, uh, so I'll move past that. Warner Brothers back for oh back for blood looks good. That was on the Microsoft event as well. I like how it's on Game Pass. So I don't have to pay for it, but I do. But I don't have to pay like sixty quid for it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to play that. It's like Left 4 Dead 2, and I love Left 4 Dead 2. 
Uh, I play it on PC quite a lot with mods and stuff, but I liked playing it on Xbox as well, back when I used to have it. Um, PC gaming, um, what did they show off on PC gaming? I don't think they showed off much I was personally interested in. Um, I know they showed off a new Guardians of the Galaxy game actually for Square Enix. I don't know why, is it going to be the same game as the Avengers? Because I actually didn't know anything about that, um, but it's kind of stupid how they're moving on from Avengers quickly. Um, but I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what they're doing with that. But um, yeah, uh, that's the end of the video. I know it's been like a, well it's 10 minutes, not really short. But um, yeah, I know I forgot a few things, but I don't want to rant on for ages about E3. I just wanted to have a nice little discussion about some games I'm excited for. Uh, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments what one of your favourite announcements was um, the other day. And um, let me know and I'll respond. Uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I do do a lot of discussions, do do, haha. <laughs> but I do actually do a lot of discussions on this channel every now and again. So if you like these type of videos, be sure to subscribe. And uh, follow my Twitter, it's at Jurassic underscore. Um, I do actually use it uh, a lot, I hate Twitter though. But if you want to probably message me other than the YouTube comments, that's probably the other way, uh, the other best way to get in contact with me. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.